Um, I've just finished recording this video and I've uh, discovered that the sound and the video get horribly unsynchronized as time goes on so I just wanted to apologize that, for that before the video starts. Um, the main thing is obviously the audio so I would probably recommend once you start playing the video to just minimize it or something because I know it gets really annoying if the sound uh, gets out of sync so uh, please try to bear with it. Onto the video. Hi everyone. Uh, this is going to be a video on virtual reality. Um, there's been a lot of talk about this recently, and uh, in Mendham, Gary has uh, done a lot of work on this so far, and he's really answered all of the common questions that come up when the solution is proposed and talked about. And I think he's really done a very good job of explaining the whole thing, uh, explaining the situation, the problem, uh, and the solution. Um, now, a lot of people seem to still not get this idea, the solution, uh, for some reason, even after his explanations. So, what I'm going to do today is try to explain the whole thing, the, the problem, the cause for the problem and the solution in a different way. Um, I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to be able to do as good a job as he's done, but my goal is to hopefully just present this in a different way. Uh, not necessarily better or worse, just different in my words. And hopefully it'll push the right buttons. It'll, it'll trigger the right thoughts for somebody that maybe didn't get triggered in his videos. So I'll, I'll post links on this video to some of the videos that he's done already. Um, and if you've got any questions about this, feel free to post video responses or put comments in the question in the um, in the comments field. Put your questions in there. Um, but please watch those videos that I've linked first, so that and you'll probably find that your questions have been addressed in those videos. Okay, so I'll start off by basically explaining what we are, why we're here. We are basically, as described by Mendham, most appropriately, I think, uh, basically bacteria with brains. Uh, now, what that means is that we have evolved over time, just as every other living organism has, into what we are today. And every physical trait that we have, every ability we have, is basically the product of two goals, essentially to survive and reproduce and a byproduct of this survival and reproduction is consumption and a huge amount of consumption basically with the amount of people we have in the world today it's a huge amount of consumption and if you look at any physical trait that we have it will be able to be explained by those goals to those ends of survival and reproduction. Now we've evolved tools over time to make that job easier, to make survival easier. And the tools we have are, you know, our bodies, basically everything in our bodies. And one of the tools that we've developed is our brain and that's well, that's what it is it's a tool now one of the main functions of the tool which is the brain that I'm talking about obviously is to give us a means of interpreting the physical world as it is out there so what we see around us is the physical world that is there it's physical it's finite it is what it is it is how it is it's just around us physical tangible now one of our brains main functions is to create for us a reality it is to basically interpret this reality around us in a way that will make it useful to us in a way that will make it possible for us to navigate and survive in this world and to reproduce in this world 
So the brain works in conjunction, obviously, with our senses to produce our perception of the world around us, which I will call our consciousness. The consciousness that we experience every waking moment is the combination of our senses that we've developed to adjust to the world out there, eyes interpreting the light signals, ears interpreting the audio signals, touch, taste, smell. And the brain takes all of this and combines these into this perception that we have of reality around us. And the reality that we have around us is shared by all of us. It's the same reality, obviously. We're all just, our brains all work in the same way and they interpret this world in basically the same way, you know, obviously with exceptions, autism and, you know, various other brain dysfunctions which disrupt the standard, u the standard interpretation and usage of our senses to produce the consciousness that we know. Now, a byproduct, as I said before, of the whole survival and reproduction thing is consumption. It's a huge consumption, and you know we need we need things to to keep going, to to keep moving forward. And also, some of the traits that we've developed, you know, emotions and you know all these kinds of things. Uh, the need that we feel for relationships and things like that and you know everybody has slightly different different wants and desires that they that they've uh, that they've come to need that they've come to desire and that changes from person to person but it's basically all the same and the problem that we face is that we have limited resources and it's not always practical to satisfy everyone's desires and everyone's wants and everyone's emotional things that they need and uh, addictions that we have, uh, both the inherent addictions that we have to life and surviving and that sort of thing, to the extra developed um, addictions like wanting more and more and bigger and bigger we're basically never satisfied um, you know it's been said that if you give somebody a thousand dollars then they'll want two thousand dollars and as soon as you give them two thousand dollars they'll want three thousand dollars and we all know this we all see this we all experience this 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 is this is all of us this is this is just what we are and it's not you know, nobody's blaming anybody for it. This is just what we've developed. That's just what we are. That's just what we have become. And, you know, we're always wanting more and more and more. And we're never really satisfied with what we've got. And with the world's population increasing at the rate it is now, it's just, it's just not practical. It's just not sustainable to keep satisfying these needs and these desires and things that everybody once it's just not something that we can keep up doing from forever you know so that presents a real problem for us so it calls for a solution that is that basically can provide all of these needs in a sustainable way um, satisfactorily so it's got to do the job that whatever the solution is it's got to do the job 100% okay it's we can't ex, we can't have any 80 percent because then you know people will just carry on doing what they're doing now the solution that we're going to be talking about is a virtual reality system a fully immersive which is really the key phrase here fully immersive virtual reality system now i'm not talking about the virtual reality that we that we have access to today where you know you play a computer game or something like that you know just something external that's not the kind of thing I'm talking about here what I'm talking about is a system where we can create a complete replacement consciousness for ourselves think of a dream that you've had we've all had dreams think think of a dream that you've had think of how it felt what the experience was like when you were in a dream for the time that you were in a dream state 
that was your reality. That was reality. As far as you knew, that was reality. And it's kind of a, it takes a few seconds after you wake up to adjust, you know, to reality again, to the common reality, the the real tangible reality. Now, this is the kind of system we want to create. This is what we're talking about. This is the idea. The idea is to create this fully immersive system that will, now, the physical way such a system would work is it would have to connect into the brain in some way, the, the details of which, you know, are irrelevant at this stage. They, they will come later through investment of time and money, you know, time and resources. We can create such a system. 